Hello friends, in this video, we will see another problem related to the probability. So the problem is, uh, a bag contain, a bag contain 5 white boards and 3 block boards. And another bag contain, another bag contains 4 white boards and five black balls okay five black balls and next one is from any one of these two bags from any one of these bags a single draw of a single draw of two balls is made a single draw of two balls is made. So then we have to find the probability find the probability that one of them is white and other is black other is black. Ok right? So we have two bags. The first bag contains five white balls and the three black balls, and the second bag contains four white balls and five black balls. So from any one of these two bags, a single draw of two balls made. A single draw of two balls made. So find the probability that one of them is white and one of them other is black. Right? So first of all, there are two bags are there. So first of all, there are two bags are there. So out of these two bags, so we have to select one bag first. So the probability of the probability of selecting each bag probability of selecting each bag is 1 by 2 right so out of two bags we have to select one bag so the probability of the selecting bag is 1 by 2 so next for example let us assume so we have selected the first bag so we know the first bag contains five white balls and three block balls so that means in total it contains eight balls eight balls okay so the total number of ways of selecting two balls from this eight balls is 8c2 right so the total number of ways of selecting two balls out of this uh, eight balls is 8c2 but out of these two balls one ball must be white so that is selecting one ball out of 5 white balls is 5c1 and selecting one black ball is 3c1 because 3 block balls are there. so the total number of ways of selecting one white ball and one block ball is 5c1 into 3c1 ok so the probability of selecting one white ball and one block ball from the first bag is so the total number of ways of selecting one white and one block ball by total number of ways of selecting Two balls, so that is 8C2. Okay, 5C1 into 3C1 by 8C2. So 5C1 is 5 and 3C1 is 3 and 8C2 is 8 factorial by 8 minus 2, that is 6 factorial into 2 factorial. So this is going to be 5 3 is 15 by so here 6 factorial, 6 factorial is cancelled, we left with 7 into 8. So 2 4 ja, so 4 into 7, so that is going to be 28. So the probability of selecting selecting two balls, okay, and out of those two balls, the one ball is white and one ball is black is 15 by 28. So this is the case of selecting the first bag. For example, if we selected the second bag, so the second bag contains four white balls and five black balls, right? So the total they contains nine balls total nine balls so the problem i mean the number of ways of selecting two balls out of these nine balls is 9c2 okay 9c2 right so out of this cycle we have selected two balls out of those two balls one ball must be white ball so the probability of selecting one white ball is 4c1 and the probability of selecting one block ball is 5c1 Okay, so we are selecting two balls. So the total number of ways of selecting one white ball and one block ball from the second bag is 4C1 into 5C1. 
So the probability of selecting one white ball and one black ball is the total number of ways of selecting by the total number of ways of selecting two balls out of this nine ball. So that is going to be nine C two. So number of ways of selecting one white ball, one black ball by total number of ways of selecting two balls. Okay. So this is the this will give the probability of selecting one white ball and one black ball from second bank. So four C one is going to be. Four and five C one is going to be five, and this one is nine C two going to be nine factorial by nine minus two is seven factorial into two factorial. So here seven factorial, and in this we are removing seven factorial, so we left with eight into nine. So two four ja eight eight. So nine into four thirty six. So four five ja twenty by by thirty six. Okay, twenty five by thirty six. So either we are selecting this bag, either we are selecting this bag. So that's why actually the probability that one of them is white and another one is black ball, and from any one of these two bags, a single draw is made. So any one of this one or this one. So so the overall probability is going to be equal to one by two into why I am multiplying this one by two because we are selecting only any one of the first bag or second bag. That's why one by two into Suppose we are selecting the first bag. In that case, the probability is 15 by 28, or we may select the second bag. So that is going to be 20 by 36. 20 by 36. So that is going to be equal to. Okay. So that is going to be equal to how much? So. <coughs> uh, we'll solve this one. So 15 by. Forty-eight, and uh, this is going to be equal to fifteen by forty-eight. And whatever value we are getting, that is going to be equal to the probability of this one. And uh, so two ten ja, I am this one, and fifteen uh, by fifty-six. Uh, okay, fifteen by fifty-six. So that is going to be equal to fifteen uh, by twenty-eight to the fifty-six plus. And this is going to be 10 by 36. So it's going to be equal to 56 into 36 on 15 into 36 plus 10 into 56. Okay. So if we solve this one, we will get 275 by 504. 274 by 504. By multiplying these all this and by doing the calculation of this, and we will get 275 by 504. And this is the actually the probability of Selecting one white ball and one black ball from any one of those two bags, where the first bag contains five white balls and three black balls, and the second bag contains four white balls and five black balls. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video, and please subscribe to my channel.